Unmanned surface vehicles, USVs, are poised to redefine the landscape of combat. These uncrewed surface vehicles signify a compelling and innovative advancement in naval warfare, with the United States demonstrating agility in acquiring various types of USVs to gain a strategic edge. The integration of unmanned surface vessels, among a range of applications, underscores a strategic initiative. This program equips the Navy with versatile and cost-effective solutions for a wide array of maritime tasks. However, what distinguishes these costly USVs that the US has incorporated into its arsenal? And how do they stand out when compared to their counterparts? You might want to stick till the very end of this video to witness the newest and the most expensive additions to the US Navy. On September 18, 2023, Unmanned Surface Vessels, USVs, Ranger and Mariner from Unmanned Surface Vessel Division 1, USVDIV-1, arrived at Fleet Activities Yokosuka, Japan as part of a scheduled port visit during Integrated Battle Problem, IVP-23.2. The USVs, equipped with advanced sensors, artificial intelligence, AI, and communication systems for navigation and data collection, have lengths ranging from 45 to 300 feet and feature modular designs for diverse payloads, including surveillance and electronic warfare systems. This flexibility allows customization for various missions, from surveillance to mine countermeasures. The propulsion systems vary, with some utilizing electric drives for stealth and endurance. Ranger, the unmanned surface vessel, was docked at Fleet Activities Yokosuka alongside other medium and large USVs to advance manned-unmanned teaming in the Indo-Pacific. If you're enjoying this content so far, consider giving this video a thumbs up and hitting that subscribe button for more awesome videos like this. In collaboration with allies, including Japan, the US Navy aims to gain warfighting advantages by testing and leveraging the capabilities of unmanned surface vessels. Before arriving in Japan, the Ranger participated in various exercises. As autonomous watercraft, technical issues pose a significant threat, making reliability and safety crucial. Testing in diverse dynamic environments, such as RIMPAC, the world's largest international exercise, helps ensure the effectiveness of these vessels. In the Gulf of Aqaba, the Sail Drone Explorer, which is an unmanned boat, was seen sailing by a Royal Jordanian Navy patrol craft during a big sea training called the International Maritime Exercise Cutlass Express. Did you know that this exercise known as IMXEE is the biggest sea training in the Middle East, where navies from different countries come together to practice and work together? They test their new ideas collectively. Once the Sail Drone Explorer was put into the water, the Jordanian Navy paid attention to how well it worked. One more advanced technology used by the U.S. is the Common Unmanned Surface Vehicle, CUSV. In 2020, during a big training called Exercise Citadel Shield Solid Curtain, the CUSV showed how good it is at certain jobs. It is mainly used for missions to protect against terrorism. The key USV can be important in keeping ports, harbors, and valuable places safe. Beyond just the surface of the water, the US also uses unmanned underwater vehicles to carefully watch for sea mines. This is shown during exercises like the US-UK Mine Countermeasures Exercise. On October 26, 2023, the US Department of Defense, DOD, shared pictures of a special boat called the Maritime Tactical Systems, MARTAC T-38 Devil Ray. But did you know that it's being used in a place called the Arabian Gulf by a group called Task Force 59, which is part of the U.S. Navy's 5th Fleet? This task force uses smart technology like robots and computer intelligence to make sure the waters in the Middle East are safe and secure. The T-38 USV can go pretty fast, cruising at 25 knots, about 46 kilometers per hour, and can go even faster for short bursts at 80 knots, about 148 kilometers per hour. The main job of this boat is to help with big operations by using not just boats like itself, but also flying drones, underwater vehicles, and remote-controlled machines. Task Force 59 is a special group in the U.S. Navy that's all about using fancy technology, like robots and smart computers, to make maritime operations better in the Middle East. It started in 2021 and became fully ready to go in January 2023. This task force has gotten better by doing exercises with other navies and learning from real-life experiences. They work closely with military friends from different countries like Israel, Bahrain, and Jordan, especially on using USVs and smart computers. 
they hope to expand and do even more in the future. Task Force 59 has a big plan for the future called the Digital Ocean, where they want to use information from lots of sources, like sensors in the sea, satellites, buoys, and other cool gadgets to keep an eye on the seas all the time. The Navy wants to create more groups like Task Force 59 all over the world. They are also giving chances for young naval officers, especially those who work with ships, to lead and learn from the Task Force's experiences. The T-38 USV weighs about 2,950 kilograms and doesn't need much water to float only 18 inches, about 46 centimeters. It can carry a load of up to 2,050 kilograms because of its speed and capacity. It's useful for carrying things and supporting operations near the water. On the other hand, the Coast Guard has a special vehicle called the Scan Eagle. It went through testing and got approval in 2012 on a ship called the USCGC Stratton. Four years later, the system became a permanent part of the ship to make it better at watching over things. Did you know that this unmanned aerial vehicle, UAV, called the Scan Eagle, has a digital full motion video providing very clear images? It can be used during the day and at night for things like watching and learning in some of the toughest places on Earth. In 2022, the Scan Eagle played an important role in stopping illegal drugs, helping catch nearly $1 billion worth of illegal cocaine and marijuana. Other unmanned boats like the Mantis T-12 bring lots of benefits. They help the Navy do many different tasks and operations. Because of the way they're built to move through the water and air, the Navy can go faster and do things more easily. The Scan Eagle offers real-time situational awareness and information for the Air Force Security Forces expeditionary teams. It falls under the category of Group 2 Small UAS, the Scan Eagle UAS is a portable system consisting of four air vehicles, AVs, a ground control station, a remote video terminal, and a launch and recovery system called the Skyhook system. Two specially trained airmen operate the Scan Eagle UAS, assisted by two additional maintenance personnel. The system is launched using a catapult and retrieved by the Skyhook system, which employs a hook on the wingtip to catch a rope hanging from a 30 to 50 foot pole. Importantly, it does not require a runway for launch or recovery. The AV is autonomously controlled and can carry various payloads based on specific needs. Currently, the system includes a color electro-optical camera and an infrared camera for night operations. The Scan Eagle's extended endurance allows it to quietly monitor critical positions for prolonged periods without being detected. Now, did you know that in 2004, Boeing was contracted by the U.S. Marine Corps to provide support services to safeguard deployed Marines in Iraq? This system proved successful in saving lives, accumulating over 456,000 combat hours and 57,000 sorties in support of ground and air forces. In 2005, the Air Force Unmanned Aerial Vehicle Battle Lab demonstrated the military utility of the Scan Eagle for the protection mission of security forces. The Air Force procured one Scan Eagle system through the Warfighter Rapid Acquisition Program in late 2006 and deployed it to Iraq to support security forces. Finally, there are Sonoboys, which are aerial deployed floating devices detect and identify underwater sounds, aiding in anti submarine warfare and surveillance. These compact devices, equipped with hydrophones, pick up acoustic signals, transmitting valuable data to naval operators. Sonoboys are crucial for real time underwater intelligence demonstrated in operations like Winter Fury 22, where they were deployed for anti-submarine warfare missions. Marine Aircraft Group 39 collaborated to develop tactics for deploying Santa Boys, evaluating their speed and range. Marines manually deploy Santa Boys in strategic locations during training exercises, ensuring readiness for responding to global crises in contested maritime environments. So there you have it, the future of combat.